this video is a demo on how to program an ESP-01 using an FTDI programmer. We are going to install a basic blink sketch using Arduino IDE. We will use the following hardwares. The first hardware is the FTDI programmer. This is one of the common FTDI programmer that you can find online in Lazada, Shopee, and Banggood. And it comes with six pins, namely the DTR, RX, TX, VCC, and CS and the ground pin. It comes with the usual, usually the pins are terminated with 2.54 millimeter straight male single row pin header connector. And it can also be with the female equivalent like this one the prices would range from 100 pesos to more than 200 pesos you will also need the following a breadboard uh, some connectors here the connector wires uh, the usb for from the laptop to your module the final hardware is the esp-01 module with esp8266 chip and this module comes with the standard 8 pins, namely the 3.3 volts, the RST or the reset, the EN or enable, the TX, the, the transmitter, the RX, the receiver, the two IOs here, the IO0 and YIO2, and the last pin, the ground pin. The price range for this module would, would start from 100 to 200 pesos. The next step is connect the FTDI programmer pins to the ESP-01 pins. Here's the connection of the pins. The next step is to connect the FTDI programmer cable to the laptop. And there you go, the expected behavior is the FTDI module lights up and also the SP-01 module blue LED also light up. If you haven't installed the ESP8266 board to the Arduino RDE, here's the procedure. In your Arduino RDE, make sure the board is assigned to the right board. So under the tools, you would assign generic ESP8266 module and the port is properly assigned to the right port. Once you have that done, go to File, then go to Examples, and then Basics, and you will find here the Blink Sketch. Once connected, then you click the Upload button. And there you go. The code has been programmed to the ESP-01 module. Then lastly, testing the ESP-01 with the code. Use Arduino Uno module to supply the 3.3 volts and the ground pin to the ESP module. And there you go.